welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Fizz. We're going to be trying a Teemo Fizz deck in Ranked. That was the uh, challenge that we had with this donation deck is build a Teemo Fizz deck for Ranked. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be playing these two um, and uh, we're going to be we're going to be playing them, and we're going to be trying them with, with uh, Jagged Taskmaster and Professor Von Yip, right? Like, whenever we get our one-cost allies, they get plus two, plus two. Or our Taskmaster, they can from everywhere, they can get plus one, plus zero. So we're going to try to get some larger one-cost allies. Now, we also are going to be having our one-cost allies have Elusive. Because, of course, Teemo has Elusive. Prowling Cutthroat has Fearsome and Elusive. Um, we can uh, have Fizz get Elusive. Um, going with Poro Cannons for the Daring Poros. I'm playing this instead of just simply playing Daring Poro, because this is a zero mana burst spell for protecting Fizz. So that's why I have uh, Poro Cannons in here. So the reason why that Elusive is important in doing damage is because my finisher is going to be Give It All. So I was kind of thinking, like, how do we... How do we play Fizz and Teemo and really finish out games and win games kind of consistently? And I think that maybe this could be the card that allows us to do that. Um, you know, maybe we can make some you know larger elusives, like three, four power elusives, play a give it all, give everything across the board elusive, and make them larger and win that way. Now, we want uh, more keywords probably than just elusive. And so that's why we're going to be combining elusive with scout so we can get some extra keywords. So we're gonna have Island Navigator in here, which does a couple of things. Not only does it have Scout, it also gets a one cost follower with Scout. And of course the one cost followers are important with Professor Von Yip and Jagged Taskmaster. So that helps that out too. And then we're gonna play two Razor Skill Hunters also for the Scout. So the goal is to get a Scout in play and an Elusive and then give it all. And so we can give everything um, Elusive and a Scout. That's gonna be the goal. We're gonna see if we can do it. Um, got one. Uh, got a little bit of got some mystic shots in here for some removal and got one rising spell force Which could be really cool if we wait until like turn eight with give it all if we have our three spell mana And our eight regular mana we could go like rising spell force first give an ally plus four plus zero quick attack and then Give it all and so then all of our units would have permanent plus four plus zero quick attack um, That could be really cool especially with like scout, you know Maybe we don't have an elusive when we do that and all of our things have like scout and plus four plus zero quick attack. That could be really cool. So we're gonna try one little rising spell force in there too. All right, Teemo Fizz. This may, you know, this may not work. This may not be good enough for master's rank, um, but we're gonna try it out and we're gonna have some fun and uh, hope it does. Hope it does. But um, this is what I decided to go with for a Teemo Fizz deck. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, if you have a Teemo Fizz deck, that you've been playing feel free to let me know in the comments and you know put the co code in there and everything and, and tell me about it um because yeah i'm interested to see what what else uh y'all are doing for team of fizz okay so we have our, our one mana one one elusives but like you know they're not going to be able to do 20 damage we're going to need some more help let's mulligan the prowling cutthroat and i kind of want to mulligan the poro cannon also i know it's a spell for fizz but maybe I just mulligan Fizz. Hmm. Because they don't really play too many spells that hurt that hurt us. Kind of more, more worried about the challenger. Okay, this actually works pretty well. You know, like Boxtopus would be what I'm worried about, why I want to make sure to keep multiple elusives. I did forget about the prediction, sorry. Sideways, thank you for letting me know. All right, prediction started. So you have one minute to predict whether we're gonna win or lose. So y'all get to see the first couple of turns. Are we going to win or lose? Please no hush, please no hush. Yes, no hush. That's you know, not only important for keeping Teemo alive. That also gets us the plunder. The weak don't deserve mercy. Okay, Island Navigator. Can't win them all, eh? This will still work through both Guiding Touch and Pale Cascade. We'll just block there. 
The main question is, do I do I want to pool shark and then be priced into playing whatever card next turn that we hit off the pool shark? Or do I just want to play Island Navigator next turn? I guess Island Navigator is not really that good. Hmm. I'm gonna you know what, I'm just gonna end round. I'm kinda worried the top card would be give it all. Uh the top card would have been Prowling Cutthroat. Lucky you. I'm the last thing you'll see. Open wide, sure. Cool, no hush still. I think I'm just gonna play salvage. I've been propagating quite the appetite. <laughs> no, two mystic shots. Oh, Mystic Shot would be good, too. But digging towards... Give it all. Let us prove this establishment's fair. Come on in. So to cast Give It All next turn, I would need... Two additional mana. <clears throat> right now, I don't. I don't have like anything that big, though. I don't have like Island Navigator in play. The ocean charts our course. Ooh. Three one fearsome scout. That's interesting. I know this. That's not cool. That's not cool. Okay. Not killing the other one. Got me. Not until next turn. We can definitely assume no pale cascade. I'm sure there's something for my taste. I don't know if I attack with a 2-4. Probably not. No, sir, friend. Okay, not ideal. Oh, I should I should be doing that on the 2-2. Two -two, not the 2-4. I want to give them ample time to to play this acquired taste and not kill my Teemo. No, they found a hush. Yuck. Hmm. All right, it's gonna be give it all time. Where there's a will, there's a meal. So they're all only gonna have two power, but they will have, as long as they don't hush the island navigator, they're gonna have scout, elusive, and fearsome. Okay, we got our scout fierce or our scout elusives. They can take out a few of them. <clears throat> yeah, but this is why I should have had the Fortune Croaker go against... I should have done it on the Pool Shark, not the Island Navigator, because they would be two fours instead of all two threes. So that was that was a misplay by me with that Fortune Croaker. Ooh, down to six. And they're going to concede. All right. Our elusive scouts. Oh no, Anivia. This is the worst possible matchup for our deck of go wide and play very low health. Yeah, Anivia is the worst case scenario. 
I would, I would much rather play against Go Hard than Anivia. Go Hard, you can kind of play around. It's, it's not that bad. Anivia, though. I can't pet you all the time, Harvey. Counter to your popular opinion. In. Mm. And that doesn't even target. I can't stop that. No, that doesn't stop it. I want to be able to play one drops after I play Professor Von Yep. Something ancient stirs. Perhaps we should pause for thought. I unfortunately, you know, like I would have liked them to attack first and then I play this stuff afterwards, but if I if I pass, they will likely pass because I mean that's what I would do if I were them. I would I'd be passing. Please don't kill my professor. Just play a rekindler. Ooh, yeah, do that. Play a rekindler. Hmm, they didn't do that. Expecting harsh winds. Yep. Harsh winds is the card that keeps them alive, so that's why I was expecting that. I guess maybe I should attack with both of these two, because then if they if they would have blocked my Professor Von Yip, then I could have had lethal. So I guess I should have attacked with both of these two. That was a misstep on my part. For my homeland. Just one damage. Can't win them all, eh? Oh, you scream! Rend the skies. This is not a good block ag against Avalanche. Like maybe I should be throwing a, a daring Poro in front because of Avalanche. But maybe they don't have Avalanche. They haven't really shown to have Avalanche throughout earlier parts of the game. It's just withering around. Dangerous waters. <laughs> Lady Elise, where are you? Hmm. So they played two Withering Whale so far? It's kind of unlikely that they have another. Take ten. Take nine. Mystic shot for the win. Yes, Teemo Fizz, we beat our worst possible matchup. Wow.
Our hand was awesome. We did get Professor Von Yip and all those daring Poros. Like, that was pretty lucky for us. And yeah, we actually won. We're playing some scouts. Okay, scouts don't have the... Like, they're really fast, but they don't have, like, too much removal for us if we can be really fast as well. I'll take this hand. Get our Daring Poros to go along with the Jagged Task... You know, turn one, Daring Poro, turn two, Jagged Taskmaster. Um, and then we'll see what we want to do turn three. I like these cards are, are fine, but I can also ditch them. Which one... Which one of these two do I want to ditch? I think I want to keep Mystic Shot. I guess... Fortune Croaker. Petty Officer, like, doesn't... I need Petty Officer to block, but then again, it doesn't block against Misfortune. So that's... a little bit of a problem. Please, no misfortune. Please, no misfortune. Anything else? No prey. Why? Anything else? You point, I shoot. Ready? Aim. Oh, yo, scream! So I'm thinking, like, I want Powder Keg with the Petty Officer for Mystic Shot to kill Misfortune. Uh, we'll have seven total mana for, like, the next turn. So I could have Petty Officer, Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot. So I could Mystic Shot and kill this Crack Shot Corsair right now. Yeah, I'll just do that. Then I still have enough for Officer Shot. So I guess I could have saved one life. I didn't like that Flea Feather tracker. I was hoping they would tap out more. I don't know. Maybe I could have... I don't think I could have passed again. Yeah, I don't think I could have. Well, I wish they didn't have misfortune, but... No! Uh... Alright, well, our luck ran out. Basically, I need, I need to, like, the, the biggest mistake I made this game was using the Mystic Shot on that 1-2, right? If I, if I don't make the, if I don't use that Mystic Shot on the 1-2, then I can, um, then whenever I, I Mystic Shot this Misfortune and they use the, their spell to have it survive, I'd have the second Mystic Shot and I could have killed the Misfortune. So that, that was the big mis mistake I made this game was using that first Mystic Shot on the 1-2. Okay, attack for 11 this turn. Almost kills him. I don't know. I guess we could try. I mean, we're completely dead to level up Misfortune next turn. We get that cool attack in first before we die. All right, still, I'll take a two and one with Team of Is. We 
stay and build rules, son. And obviously we're just dead to the attacks. Eh, we'll let him do it. It's a bunch of cool guns. All eyes on me. Lots of bullets. Avalanche. Again, these are not the matchups we want to face. Kind of like the Anivia Control. This one's a little better for us than Anivia Control, but also still very bad with Avalanche and Withering Whale and all that kind of stuff. This is the first time we had the attack token on turn one. We have had it on turn two a bunch, which has been really good for this Jagged Taskmaster. I think this is a good hand for me to have, though. Basically, I get I get like the fleeting card here that I can't cast, and so I discard it. It's possible they don't have avalanche or withering whale. Not very likely. The strong don't want mercy. We play and build rules, son. Ooh. Looks like we're playing the professor. Like this? Oh, I see. So I can discard Rising Spell Force. Oh man, another professor? <sighs> no, I should save the second one. Because of Ruination, I think. Because I could play another professor and then play a 6 5, a 6 5 Prowling Cutthroat. Uh, before they know they're bleeding. Or I just go the 4 3. They so mean. I don't like my stuff. Why well, they gotta be so mean? Big Fizz is kind of nice. Yep, yep, yep. Five three Fizz. Where do you stand on cold shots? Four four Pool Shark. Oh, give it all! Oh, give it all! I can't play. Give it all. Here we go, GG's. Wow. Rising spell force. For the win. 
We see how powerful Professor Von Yip though is in both of those, in both that one and the Anivia wins. Professor Von Yip was really important of making those one mana units a lot bigger. Against Ephemerals with Zed Hecarim. Zekarum. We got Professor Von Yip, which is good, of course. Island Navigator, which is good, but then those are both four mana cards. This is me not doing anything turn one, turn two, and then just kind of going turn three, Petty, turn four, Professor, per turn five, Island Navigator. I mean, that's strong. That's a strong turn three, four, five, but nothing turn one, turn two. Which I guess that this Poro Cannon can be a turn one. Never mind, we got, we got a Fizz. Surprise, no attack. Okay, Ragan, you've been predicting him right all the time. Come, the journey ahead is long. And you predicted loss for this one? Hopefully you're wrong on that one. I go Von Yip, and then I can go Navigator plus Cutthroat or Teemo. <laughs> yours has been, oh no, and yours has been all wrong for this deck so far, and then you predicted win? Oh no, that's that's looking two for two, like we're going to be losing this this game. Person who all their predictions have been right said we're going to lose. Person who said all their predictions have been wrong said we're going to win. Maybe we'll come out ahead and y'all are y'all are due for the opposite. You know, you're due for you know either a win or a loss. Prepared for anything. Hey. What's today's list? Out before they know they're bleeding. Sorry, I'm the navigator. I'm attacking. The elusive. Where are you going? And yeah, that's. Figured they'd block Teemo. That's like the obvious one to block, so we got our backup Teemo. Teemo Fizz. Oh, uh, that looks scary. Hopefully it doesn't hit me for 18. I ain't afraid. I go down to five. Dude, did they just have like atrocity? Death mark. Well, Death Mark's not atrocity. Um. There's blood in the water. I'll be quick. Three, six, nine. There we go. Got the win. Yeah, see, y'all were just due to change. Let's update this. Four and one. Wow, what a surprise. We went four and one in Masters rank with Teemo Fizz. GG's. Okay, so the deck the deck worked out, you know, like what we were trying to do, it worked out. Like we we did a really good job of drawing Professor Von Yip and having Professor Von Yip survive and allow us to play some one cost allies we did you know we did a great job at that 
Um, we had one game with the Give It All that won that the Give It All won us the first game against the Tom Kench deck. But overall, yeah, we're just playing our playing our elusives. We also did a great job with Jagged Taskmaster, right? Like, like we just had some like just good hands and really fortunate stuff happening. Because like I think what two or maybe three games we had. Uh, the attack token on turn two, so we played our one man elusive on turn one. Turn two, immediately attack, deal one damage, and then boom, jagged taskmaster. And then that was already, you know, that was pumping up our one cost allies for the rest of the game. So we had that happen like two or three games, and then you know we had three games of Professor Von Yip doing its thing. One game with the give it all. So it worked. It worked. I don't know if, you know, like if we would just run it right back, I don't know if we would get a 4-1 again. You know, I wouldn't be that confident in getting a 4-1 again with Teemo Fizz if we ran it right back. But, you know, like the, the challenge here from the person that donated this deck was build a Teemo Fizz deck for Master's Rank. And uh, this is what I came up with, and I, th I think it kind of worked. It kind of worked. So there we go. All right, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, you know, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to leave those comments, and uh, I really appreciate those. Let me know what you think of the deck, and like I said before, if you're playing some other kind of Teemo Fizz deck in ranked, you know, leave that, that comment too. I want to uh, hear about that. I'd appreciate that. But anyway, that's it here for Teemo Fizz, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.